Hey guys and welcome to the Mixed Tank Toolbox. I'm Alex and today I'm going to show you a really cool little trick but if you don't know about it it's absolute gold dust. Now in Ableton if you record a piece of MIDI in and you want to play a few notes over it every time you go to record on that channel it records over the existing MIDI that you've put in there. So you know for some people if you want to play chords and you do it just one layer at a time it's pretty much impossible to do without copy and pasting the MIDI into an individual MIDI file every time and it's really frustrating. But with a little setting enabled and you can change that and you can overdub your MIDI and record extra notes into them blocks of MIDI. This is how you do it. Okay, so let's go over to our project. Here's a little something I've started just to demonstrate this. And um, I'll just give you a little play of what we've got already. Something simple, but we want to play a lead over that. So let's uh, arm our channel. We've got our sound already set up and we're going to record um, a lead melody over this one. There we go, so if we double click on here and we just quantize everything. There we go, and we check that out. Right, so say if we wanted to play some extra notes over the top of that, add some more layers. Um, now the stock setting in Ableton, it doesn't allow you to do that, it will record over the MIDI. So I'll give you an example of this. Now you can see here, that's just recorded straight over what we had before, which is really quite frustrating if you're trying to layer different notes on your sounds. So if we just take that back, now go to options at the top, click on MIDI arrangement overdub, and this fixes everything. So check this out. So now if we go play our extra melody over the top, hit record. And there you have it. It then adds the MIDI notes and allows you to overdub them and fix them together, which is an absolute lifesaver. Now we'll just quantize these and then you can do this as many times as you want. You can keep adding things in there, keep deleting things, and it just saves that really frustrating task of having to copy and paste MIDI into there because you can't just record it all in one go. So I hope you found that helpful today. So there you have it. Little nugget of gold for you today. If you didn't know about it, this one's definitely going to save you a ton of time. Don't forget to head over to mixtank.tv to check out all of our full masterclasses and lots more free content from myself and the artists. I'll catch you again soon.